Last time, I showed you how to hack the Nintendo Wii. And in this video, I will show you how to restore the Wii to stock, aka removing the hack. The following guide is optional and dangerous, so continue if only you have guts. Since we are going to unhack the Nintendo Wii, so of course you will need to have a modded console. It could come from any region and with any firmware version. Watch my previous guide if you want to hack your console. And you need to have an SD card with I think a minimum of 2GB, so you still have a lot of space to backup the console man, which generally takes about 500MB. Let's open the Wii options to find out the current firmware version. For my case, it is on firmware 4.3 and it is a US region console. Before proceeding, you must check your console's region and match it with the one on your monitor. Find the sticker on your console like this one. For my case, it reads USA, so it matches the region that is shown on my monitor. But if you see something like this one, core which means Korean, and you see the letter U on your monitor, then you have a region change console. So you need to type in the original region firmware to unhack it later, or else you will break your console. Let's continue. After determining your console region, you can now close the Wii settings and get back to the home screen. Now let's back up the console's name for safety reason. Open the homebrew channel. Press the home button to open some options. Choose launch boot me. Press the power button 3 times to get into the gear icon. Then press the reset button to confirm it. Select the first icon and again use the reset button to confirm it. And it will begin dumping the console's name. Press any console button to exit. Since we have dumped the console's name, now we can go back to the homebrew launcher. Press the home button, then select shutdown. Remove the SD card from the console and plug it to your computer. By dumping the console's NAND, now you have two files on your SD card. That is the NAND.bin and the keys.bin. Create a new folder on your computer to store those files as a backup. Then drag those files to the new folder. See the link in the description to download on the Schwarzenegger and put it on the desktop. Open the NAND backup folder and make a copy of the original NAND.bin. So if anything bad happens, you still have the NAND data to recover your Wii. Extract the downloaded files with WinRAR or 7-zip. Open the folder and run the app. Click local cache and pick the NAND backup folder. Click search and select the NAND.bin file. Press the content tab, then choose format.
now type in your target firmware along with its region. You can downgrade, upgrade, or stay at the current firmware if you like. I type 4.3U. If your console is region changed, then you must type in the region that is showing on your sticker, not on your monitor. Now press Get It. It will begin downloading the required data from the Nintendo server. It will take a long time, so please be very patient. Now you can type in the form. Match it with the one that is displaying on the console sticker. Then press OK. Now copy the NAND.bin file to your console's SD card and replace the existing one. Then reinsert the SD card to your console. Since I got boot me installed on boot 2, then it will show the app every time I turn on the console. However, I don't recommend doing this guide if you don't have boot me on boot 2, because it is too risky and dangerous. But if you are stubborn and don't care about anything, and love doing a destructive yet a threatening action, then let's get to it. Move the cursor to the gears icon with your console's button. Then move the cursor to the second icon and confirm it. Press the reset button to continue. Then press the eject button to write the name. This is either suicide or born as new. Let's find it out later. Press the button to get back to the boot me name menu. And select the last icon to get back to the boot me main menu. And now for the moment of truth, select the Wii icon to boot into the Wii main menu. If everything is good, then you will need to set up the Wii just like you formatted the console. And now you cannot see the homebrew launcher and the USB loader GX icon, aka reset it. But there is one more left to zap, which is the boot me. To remove the boot me, we need to use the wheel brand or the letter ball method for firmware 4.3. I still have the file on my SD card, so let's open the Wii message board and open the love letter. Now you are at the HackMe installer. Press A to continue. Select Boot Me. Select Uninstall Boot Me as Boot 2 if available. Press A to continue. Now select Uninstall Boot Me as iOS. Now your Wii is back to square one, with no unsigned apps, and with no hack at all. And I think I have no more words to say about this guide. If I'm misleading or miss something, please let me know. Thanks for watching this video, and see you guys later.